everyone or night or whenever you're watching this so what are we doing today well we're up at the northern farms here we're hitting them with the sunflower typically in the in the fall we like to do the chisel plow but we decided to use the sunflower um, one reason is this the field I'm at currently is pretty stony so you can see it back there I think this is the first footage I got of running this thing um, we just wanted to uh, the whole I the whole idea here is to uh, rip the ground open so that it's nice and black and uh, and that way next spring when the sun, the sun is shining it'll heat this ground up and uh, hopefully the idea is to dry it out so um, it's it's kind of messy up here I'm not gonna lie I thought it was gonna be a lot better than what it is but it's pretty sticky so I think we really need to get it opened up certain certain spots of the field are nice and dry and uh, you know going uphill and stuff like that but there's a lot of real real nasty slimy spots that yeah so but yeah we, we really need to get it because right the state it's in right now there's some corn stalks on top of it we got to get it opened up make it nice and black and uh, the sun will really dry it out I've heard some things about some cover crops uh, maybe kind of doing the same thing I mean we're we're kind of in that doubt that it would just be kind of really wet underneath but apparently from what I'm hearing the live uh, growth will heat the ground up just as much maybe an option for uh, Uh, future years I guess we'll, we'll see I don't know if I'll get that on that page but that is, I really there's not a lot of guys around us that do it a lot of guys are conventional get the ground turned up in the fall the frost will do its thing mellow everything out you uh hit it with the digger in the spring and plant it and everything should be for the most part dried out and uh, I can't say there's any there are guys that no till but I think a lot of guys still do some form of tillage um, there might be a couple guys doing like strip till and stuff like that but a lot of there's a lot of tillage in this area um, I personally this ground is just it's hard to work with I wish we could find something close to home but it's just how it is, I guess. We either need to find something closer to home or we gotta find something in between. So it's not such a big jog, I guess. That we just kinda work our way out here. But. We'll get there. You always gotta be on the look. Speaking of being on the look, might have uh, made a couple purchases. 
again, I know, seems like we're buying a lot of stuff, but you really got to play your cards right. You look for, you look for stuff, and uh, I think there's a lot of people out there that look at what farmers are doing and go, oh, like, you guys are rich, like, all you do is keep buying stuff. Well, if you're buying something, you're most likely going to sell something else. Uh, if I buy a disc, I'm going to sell the disc I have most likely. And there's always that, you always have a price on your equipment. So if I buy a $10,000 disc, but I can sell mine for five, I'm only out five grand and I got a new disc. Um, you know, you always got to, or you buy this and this replaces maybe two things. Uh, just one example, we, we bought a grain cart a couple years ago and that replaced, you know, we, I think we had two or three gravity wagons and we, we sold two of those. And, you know, just, you always got to play your cards right. Everything's worth something. Not every, not everything's worth a lot, but, so yeah, we do have some uh, upgrades and we will be selling a handful of items. Um, I'll probably be uh, talking about those at a certain point. Uh, this is, this should be the last Last day of field work, we got potentially some snow coming. We got everything at home chisel plowed that uh, that we can, for the most part. So I'm thinking we're gonna we'll finish this up. I gotta jump across the highway and uh, get that done, and then. I'm thinking we're done. Dad started at, brought this up and started at one of our other properties, which is a little gummier. And he ended up pulling out of there because it was too gummy, which sucks, but I guess it is what it is. We should have come up and did it right away, but it's hard to, come up and do it right away when you only got one of those properties to do. And I've thought about, we still have that John Deere digger, uh, our field cultivator. I've thought about maybe modifying that and uh, maybe taking the rolling baskets off of it because they, they tend to, in muddier situations, they tend to come up. And I know these seem a little bit better, but I know there's, I, I think for sure, one back there that's gummed up. And uh, taking the rolling baskets off and then just having the, just having the shanks on there and maybe even taking some of them off so you can go a little bit deeper. The thought, um, I don't know. Or we try and sell it and, and you know, pay some more bills and stuff. It's uh, a little wet spot here. But, anyways, little daily update here. So, this is kind of how my channel's going. Is I just, I talk to you guys when I get a chance and I take all these clips and I throw them together and that's how I've that's how I've done the last couple videos so um, this might be a video all its own maybe I'll give to get you some more uh, shots here of this sunflower 
So there's uh, the discs in front there. And uh, I got one hydraulic that'll control the discs so I can raise them up and down. I got them all the way down. We're trying to chop up any of these leftover stalks out of here. And then you got behind the disc, there's actually a set of rolling baskets. And then you got your, uh, your cultivator shovels. It goes back, there's a, there's a harrow on the back, like it's just a tine harrow. Um, tine harrow and then a set of rolling baskets behind that. So this is, this is an upgrade that we, need, we have needed for the last couple of years. Um, it, it does need a little work. There's actually a, two of the rolling baskets are um, actually off right now due to uh, you know, bearings and stuff like that. Uh, I really don't need them on, so we just we just popped them off. We'll get them put on this uh, this winter sometime or next spring. Uh, get we'll get a handful of bearings and we'll go through everything. Other than that, though, this. This is uh, a really, really, really nice machine, and it was a definite need for our farm. Um, that John Deere cultivator just, it did not make a very good seed bed the last, actually this last year we were not happy with it. It, uh, it just, it didn't do a very good job, and I don't know I don't know what the deal was. Uh, yeah, it's just squishy out here. It's annoying, but kind of shows you the need to get it get it worked up a little bit. And I know there's you always got to remember there's different different ways of doing everything and. This is just, typically I like to chisel plow. I like to, for as many times as we're going across the field, um, harvesting, and then we're chopping the stalks, raking the stalks, baling the stalks, and then we're going, we're driving all over and we're picking up. I like to, I like to use chisel plow just cause we're going across and at home we're, we're hauling manure and you know just stuff like that and you know sometimes you got to go when the conditions aren't perfect i wouldn't want to be in a no-till situation when say you, you get some mud or you get, get a bunch of rain and you're afraid to head out to the field to get your crops because you don't want to rut it up and if you do kind of rut it up, you're going to have to till it anyways. So, I mean, we try and we try and do minimal till. We, we plant our wheat. We usually hit it with this once or twice. Um, cover crop, you know, if we put any cover crop down for forage, we'll try and hit it with it. Just hit it with this. Um, this kind of takes... So we have we have a disc and a cultivator. Now we got kind of kind of both with this one. Um, so it's kind of handy. But anyways, I've talked long enough. You guys are bored with me talking. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.